13, 714 now just changed on us. We're heading to the <laughs> forecast with meteorologist Matt Peterson. I'm all about accuracy here, Matt. Good uh, hey, you know, hey, well, especially when we're talking about the weather. We need to be accurate for everybody getting outside today. It's going to be a rainy one for us. It's not going to be, uh, you know, that hard to uh, get this forecast right today because it showers already this morning. They're not going anywhere through the afternoon either. We take a look north of the city in Bethlehem to start the day out here in our neighborhood network. It has been a dreary morning up in the Lehigh Valley. The good news is as the day progresses, even probably in the next couple of hours, while up north of the city, that's where we've had the heavier rain here to start the morning out. That pattern is going to shift and is going to actually push some of the heavier rain closer to the Philadelphia area and then down into South Jersey. So again, if you're in the Philadelphia area, South Jersey, Delaware, you might think, oh, well, that's not the greatest forecast. But if you're in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, it looks like your day. While it was not going to be bright and sunny, it could be a little bit better than what the rest of us will be looking at along I-95 and down south and east of the city itself. Overall, Storm Scan 3 so far here this morning. Again, there is some of the heavier rain that's been coming down in southeast PA and then again up into the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos that is starting to again fizzle for us. And while the area of low pressure is still well to our south, the further south and kind of further east it goes, it will keep the heaviest rain across South Jersey and Delaware. So we take you there towards Berks County into upper Chester County as well. That's where we have this little pocket of more moderate rainfall. We're also watching a little area of those darker greens and some yellows there moving out of Bucks County up into central New Jersey as well. And we're getting a small break in the action. It looks like over northeast Philly right now and towards Trenton too. But down into South Jersey, we've been dealing with this ribbon of more moderate to heavy rainfall that's now extended itself through Gloucester County up into Camden County and then back through Salem, Cumberland County and across the Delaware Bay. Now we're not getting any reports of lightning with this, so not necessarily looking at thunderstorms right here. But still yellows, oranges, those reds popping up on storm scan three surrounded by all the regular shower activity. This is a pocket of some more heavier rain, and that is right now anywhere. Anyway, some of the uh, heaviest rain that we're seeing across the entire region as we now move through the six, seven o'clock hour. Future weather for us later this afternoon is shows relatively scattered precip. It's going to be much more widespread than this, especially from I-95 and south. Now, as you head a little bit further north, it could be, yes, a little bit more scattered. And as you head towards the shore points, there will be enough instability. We could get a couple of rumbles of thunder out there overnight tonight. Showers will taper off. We'll actually wake up probably dry on Monday morning, but then a cold front comes in from the west. It will fire up showers and thunderstorms through Monday afternoon, and then they'll be eventually tapering off and fizzling out once we lose that daytime heating tomorrow on Monday night into Tuesday. There is a slight risk for severe. I should say a marginal risk for severe weather across the whole region tomorrow. Thanks to that cold front as it slides through the region. Heaviest rain will be in that one to two inch range across South New Jersey and Delaware. This is going through Tuesday morning. Overall, again, the heaviest rain will be coming today and maybe even then tomorrow as well with the actual front itself. And just a quick look at our seven day forecast. We're in the 70s today. 80s then Jan take over for the rest of the seven day. The best day this week comes on Tuesday. All right, Matt.